Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how to find the equation of a circle that touches both the axes, meaning it touches the x axis as well as the y axis. Let's suppose we have a circle like this, the center is located at point C having coordinates h, k. If we drop a perpendicular from C onto the x axis, let's assume the perpendicular landed at point A and also if we drop a perpendicular from C onto the y axis, let's suppose it landed at point B, then clearly you can see that BC is equal to h and AC will be equal to k meaning BC is the X coordinate, AC is the Y coordinate and also at the same time if you see BC is nothing but the radius of the circle and same goes with AC, AC is also the radius of the circle. So here the coordinates of the center seems like equivalent to the radius of the circle meaning the X coordinate is same as the radius, Y coordinate is also same as the radius. Now is this the only possibility? Well, if we are given the radius of a circle and if we are told that the circle touches both the axes, then actually there are four possibilities. This is one of them, meaning the circle being in the first quadrant is one possibility and also the circle could be in the second quadrant, where the circle can look like this and similarly the circle can also be in the third quadrant, where the circle could look like this and also the circle can be in the fourth quadrant, where the circle might look like this. So, if we are given the radius of a circle and if we are told that the circle touches both the axes, then there are four possibilities. But if we are given the center of the circle, then obviously we are talking about just one specific circle. Anytime the center of a circle is provided, meaning the coordinates of the center of a circle is provided, then we are talking about just one specific circle. But in this example, if we are provided with the radius of a circle and we are told that the circle touches both the axes, then there could be four possibilities possibilities like this. So as you can see in the diagram, radius will be equal to the absolute value of h and that will also be again equal to the absolute value of k. Considering that you know h could be positive or negative and similarly k also could be positive or negative, if we have to denote the value of the radius, then we can denote it like this and from here we can say that h is equal to plus or minus r and similarly k is also equal to plus or minus r and also r squared will be equal to h squared and that will also be equal to k squared. Now we are going to take a couple of cases. In the first case, let's assume that we have been provided with the coordinates of the center of a circle and also we have been told that the circle touches both the axes. Now in this case, how to derive the equation? Well, we can start with the fundamental equation of circle where x minus h whole squared plus y minus k whole squared is equal to r squared and in place of r squared, I have put h squared. In fact, you can also put k squared because h squared and k squared, they will be equal. They will be the same value. So really doesn't matter which one you prefer to use. So for this situation, that will be the equation of the circle. Next, let's talk about the second case where the radius has been provided and also we have been told that the circle touches both the axes and that is where comes the four possibilities. Now in this case, what would be the equation of the circle? For the second case, we can begin with the fundamental equation of circle x minus h whole squared plus y minus k whole squared is equal to r squared and here in place of h and k, I am going to use plus or minus r. Then the equation is going to look like this x plus or minus r whole squared plus y plus or minus r whole squared is equal to r squared and that's going to be the set of the equations of the circle where the circle's radius is r and they touch both the axes. Now let's do a little bit of analysis using the first equation which is x minus h whole squared plus y minus k whole squared is equal to h squared and if we remove the parenthesis, if we expand them, we are going to get x squared minus 2hx plus h squared plus y squared minus 2ky plus k squared is equal to h squared and then you see the positive h squared on both sides will cancel out each other so we are going to be left with x squared plus y squared minus 2hx minus minus 2ky plus k squared is equal to 0. And if we compare that with the general equation of a circle, which is like x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals 0, then we can clearly see that h will be equal to negative g and k will be equal to negative f. And by the way, h and k, they are actually equal. And from here, we can also say that g will be equal to negative h. And there again, we can say that will be equal to plus or minus r. And similarly, f will be equal to negative k. And that is again equal to plus or minus r and c will be equal to k squared 
which is equal to r squared also c will be equal to h squared and that is also equal to r squared so in this case we can say that g will be equal to plus or minus r f is equal to plus or minus r and c is equal to r squared this type of a situation will indicate that the circle touches both axes that is one very important property from the equation we can figure it out just by looking at the equation we should be able to figure out if the circle touches both the axes or not next we are going to take a couple of examples and here we have the first example where it says find the equation of the circle that touches both axes and has its center at negative 3 comma 3 let's begin with the standard equation of the circle x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square will be equal to r square and in this case instead of r we can use h square or k square really does not matter because numerically they will be same value i mean h and k they will be equal numerically so let's plug in the values of h and k so we have x minus negative 3 whole square plus y minus positive 3 whole square is equal to negative 3 whole square and from here we can simply write it as x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square is equal to 9 and if we expand them remove the parenthesis we are going to get x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus y squared minus 6y plus 9 is equal to 9 and as you can see the positive 9 on both sides will cancel out each other and we are going to be left with x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 6y plus 9 equals 0 and that is the answer for this question that that will be the equation of the circle that touches both axes and has the center at negative 3 comma 3 let's take a look at the second example the second example says find the equations of the circles whose radius is 4 unit and the circles touch both axes that means here we are talking about multiple circles in fact we know there are four possibilities right the circles could be in any of those four quadrants because in this case we have been given the radius of the circle but we have not been told about the location of the center that means the circle could be in any of those four quadrants so there are actually four possibilities so let's start the solution we have been told that the radius is equal to 4 unit and from here we can say then h will be equal to plus or minus r which is essentially plus or minus 4 similarly k will also be equal to plus or minus r that is again nothing but plus or minus 4 and let's use the equation that we saw earlier x plus or minus r whole square plus y plus or minus r whole square is equal to r square and now let's plug in the value of r here so we can say x plus or minus 4 whole square plus y plus or minus 4 whole square will be equal to 4 squared and if we remove the parenthesis if we expand them we are going to get x squared plus or minus 8x plus 16 plus y squared plus or minus 8y plus 16 is equal to 16 and the positive 16 on both sides will cancel out each other so we are going to get x squared plus y squared plus or minus 8x plus or minus 8y plus 16 equals 0 and from here let's try to write down the four equations separately the first equation will look like this x squared plus y squared plus 8x plus 8y plus 16 equals 0 in this case i am taking a plus sign for the 8x and 8y and the second equation will look like this x squared plus y squared plus 8x minus 8y plus 16 equals 0 here i have taken plus 8x and minus 8y and in the third equation i am going to take minus 8x and plus 8y and the equation could look like this x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 8y plus 16 equals 0 and in the fourth equation i am going to use minus 8x and minus 8y those are the four possible combinations right so the fourth equation could look like this x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 8y plus 16 equals 0 so those are the four possible equations for a circle whose radius is 4 unit and touches both axes actually there are four possibilities and your answer should include all four equations this is the answer for this question i hope everything made sense thank you for watching see you in the next video